more from the road. Uh, today for my vlog, I want to talk about what we're doing, which is using video. More specifically, I want to talk about using Zoom for your classes. And I am obviously driving. I promise I'm safe because I'm watching the road and not you guys or the camera. All right. So uh, using Zoom, I'm going to assume at this point that everybody knows what Zoom is. If you don't, the really short explanation is that Zoom is a way of having web meetings. Uh, students like to say it's like Skyping, but no, it's so much more than Skyping. It's webinars, it's web meeting. And when I first went in search of a way to teach uh, public speaking as an online component, um, I got the idea about webinar from my husband, who is an engineer and works with teams all over the world. And they meet via web conferences and they're able to share their data and their schematics and their diagrams or whatever they call them, their blueprints, and work on them together through this web webinar, web conferencing system. And in the past, when I'd looked into this as an option, it was cost prohibitive. It was very, very expensive. And then somebody in online, well, actually it was uh, Linda Wappahorse said, have you ever tried Zoom? And I said, no. And she said, well, I just heard, I've heard about this and she hadn't really played around with it too much, but she told me about it. So I experimented with it and found that it had all the features that I was looking for, for online learning, for web conferencing, and for public speaking. And I'll tell you why. First of all, when I first started, I was paying for it for myself, which was nine something a month. And that was for unlimited, unlimited access and unlimited time. The college, the online department has a, um, their own account now, so that's available to people. But it's also available free to students. It's available free to anyone as long as you limit your meeting time to an hour or less, which is easy enough to do. And if your meeting is going to last longer than that, you simply log out and re-log back in. So students use it for free and they're very happy with it. So why is it better than Skype? Well, the number of people that can be online at one time isn't limited. It's, I, and I may be wrong about this, but I think it's only limited by the number of people that can be on your screen at one time. So the bigger the screen, the, because you actually see individual squares, kind of like Hollywood squares, if you're old enough to know what that is, um, or the Partridge family. But everybody has a box and you can set uh, in the settings, you can determine what those boxes are going to look like whether you want the speaker to be full screen or you want everybody in an individual box. Um, if somebody is sharing their screen with everyone, then you can manipulate where they are on the screen. A lot of times I'll do half and half. So if they're doing a PowerPoint, I see their PowerPoint, but I also have a pretty good size box and they're in it. So there's you can manipulate that any way you want. And you can also record the sessions. Uh, ignore that, that's my car yelling at me. <laughs> you can record the sessions. And what else can you do? Oh, you can mute speakers. The, the person who's in hosting the meeting can mute speakers as they like. You can also uh, chat while, for example, if somebody's giving a speech and another student has a question for me, they can send me a chat in a little message box and I get that. You can chat with the whole class or you can chat privately. Um, what else can you do with Zoom? 
that's a lot. I'm going to talk about virtual office hours at another time, but for this vlog, I really wanted to focus on how accessible Zoom is, how students love it, why it is more like a very high-priced webinar system, software system, um, as opposed to just Skyping, although you get all this for little to nothing. Um, the other thing, I remember what I was going to say, the other thing I love about Zoom is that uh, you can set up regular meeting times. For example, my classes have a regular meeting time. That doesn't mean you're only limited to that time, but it always opens up at that time and there is a little code um, that is your meeting ID and you can send that to people and they just use that and log right in or in my online class I set up that recurring meeting and I copy and paste the link to that meeting into the class so that when the students want to log on they just click on that and they're in so it's it's super easy you will love it you will find there are so many more uses for, for Zoom than you ever even imagined. And as I said, I'm going to talk about Zoom meeting uh, in my next vlog. But that's it for now. Thanks for listening.